So we are super excited here at the 2018 SEMA show and SEMA reveal to be bringing up some of the hottest cars to be on display. Uh, inside the walls and of course at outside displays all week here at the SEMA show. And we'd like to remind everybody that, uh, like we said before, this is a tough show to see the whole thing. So if you don't get a chance to walk all the aisles, be sure to check out the SEMA Cruise and SEMA Ignited to see cars like this that has just rolled up on our red carpet stage, driven by a guy who you might know. You might have seen this guy on the square box in your living room, Mr. Dave Kindig. How are you? Hey, good, good evening. Whew. If you guys only know what it took to get here this year. <laughs> So uh, we've actually been filming an episode of this show and also getting ready. And to outdo ourselves anything that we've ever done before, we brought 10 vehicles this year. 10. Plus the 18-wheeler and we'll be at SEMA uh, Ignited awesome. on Friday night. So with another rig. So Holy cow. It's been a little nuts. That is incredible. Well, and here's the thing. It's not just 10 cars. It's 10 Kindigit design cars. So these are at a whole other level. Yeah, uh, thank you. Oh, I appreciate welcome, that. Man. But yeah, it's, uh, certainly uh, we want to bring our best. Um, we like to think that we always build a really great car, but we brought 10 examples and actually two that we brought here before. Uh, one's over in the uh, Motor Mondays uh, booth, the 52 Pontiac, a favorite of a, a lot of people, as well as one of my personal favorites, the 1968 Mustang that we called the Boss. That's actually located in our rig. That's still, uh, that's a nine-year-old build and actually is still on my business cards because I just love those guys and the car. That looks great. So you got to tell us what you brought out. So this is just some uh, crap we threw together real yeah, quick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's um, another two-day build, right? Right before the show. <laughs> 1962 uh, Chevy Corvette. Obviously, most people know what they're looking at. This is sitting on top of a Art Morrison frame. It's all independent, front and rear. We're featuring uh, LT4 supercharged nice. uh, GM crate motor from GM Performance. Direct it's backed injected. by a six-speed transmission. There's a lot of very subtle things, and much like any of the Condigit design cars that you see, we like to make them very sneaky. You have to walk back past the car a couple of times before you notice all the details. The trim on this car has been hand built. This is all solid stock aluminum that's I been was, uh, chromed. I was going to point that out. So one of the great things that you did on this car is it looks like, yeah, all the trim's still there. But this isn't the trim that was born with in 62. No. <laughs> Actually, the windshield trim and the top of the door trim is pretty much all of the original trim untouched. Uh, but uh, we've actually opened these cars. The C1 Corvette, if you've ever had one of these, you know you're pretty much eating the steering wheel. Uh, so we've moved the whole driver's compartment back four and a half inches. All of that trim around the seats has been moved back, reconditioned. Right. It's actually solid stock aluminum that we've hand shaped and chromed. And actually, we'll start offering this kit to where you can move the seats back in these C1s. Oh, wow. Which will make it a lot more comfortable for people. I don't know what it was from 1953 to 62 that people were maybe four and a half feet tall. Is that what the deal was? Well, I know. I got to thank you because uh, I'm a petite framed individual and these cars and I don't get along. So maybe now it will. You would fit just fine in this one. Awesome. So uh, the bumpers, the whole front of the car, we cut it off. I like 5 16 gaps. The bumpers have been smashed between those two pieces by cutting the whole front lower section off, bringing it up, flush mounting the uh, emblems. It's a Ferrari uh, Magellan Rosso. Uh, this is a vintage Ferrari color, just absolutely color. love this color. Yeah. And of course, with a really rich cork uh, leather interior, it just really sets it off. Yeah, yeah. So tell me about what you guys did around the back, because yeah. the deck and, and this piece here all fit very nicely. Well, thank you. And actually, there's some really trick stuff back here. Not until 1963, on the split window, would you have the gas cap that was located here. Yep. So. We nice. had old uh, Slick Willie, or uh, where there's a will, there's a way. He made a hinge that comes out of the trunk lid, so you don't have to open the trunk to get to it. When you open that trunk, though, it has drains built in. It drains out of any, you know, car wash or, or anything. Yeah, because you're taking this through the car wash. No. Right. No. I mean, that's what I do. Yeah. Tuesday I wouldn't. Afternoon. Yeah, right. Come on. And, uh, of course, uh, Lloyd Carney, that owns the car, was very passionate about having four exhaust tips coming out the back, but it was one of those tricks that how do you do it to make it look a little different from everybody else that's brought four tips out? We cut and basically removed the uh, trunk tumbler, brought all of that section up, raised the license plate, and brought the exhaust underneath uh, the, the license plate, and it just finishes out beautiful. Yeah, and they're all right in the center. 
Yeah, yeah, exactly. So what, uh, you mentioned a little bit about the chassis. Tell me wheel suspension, uh, what's it sitting on? So independent chassis, front and rear from Art Morrison. And uh, what's really trick is these wheels. This is the second set of these wheels. I designed these for my dad's 57 Chevy Corvette, which we had on stage last yeah. year for the first of this kind of, of, of event. And this is the powder coated version. These will eventually, or very soon actually, will be available from Billet Specialties. It's a beautiful wheel. It resembles a lot of the characteristics of the original hubcap, but it looks like a five spoke hot rod wheel. Well, and it doesn't look out of place on this era of car. No, no, that's the thing is you want to do something that's timeless. You don't want to build a, I mean, I could certainly make a spaceship out of a 62 Corvette, but I want this car to still be in style in 20, 30, 40 years from now. And there's really nothing on the car that would have to be changed to, to keep it in style, so. The cool thing is a 62 Corvette was a spaceship when they first came out. <laughs> I mean, really, was. you know, they, nobody, it was otherworldly in design. Yeah. Well, I think you and your team, again, knocked it out of the park. Where is this car gonna be on display this week? Yeah, so this car will actually be on display right next to Axel Nobel in the Lingenfelter Performance Booth, which it features an LT4 supercharged that's tuned by Lingenfelter. So this thing's gonna absolutely rip. Oh yeah. So you'll get to see it in that booth. Um, there's a lot of great vendors that have been a part of this car. Uh, too many to list. I mean, uh, yeah. you know, Dakota Digital, Vintage Era. I mean, it's got all of the, all of the best stuff in it. So. I hope you guys all get a chance to look at it and enjoy it. Yeah, same here. Ladies and gentlemen, Dave Kindig, thank you so much for bringing the car out, being part of the SEMA reveal again uh, with another winner. Don't, don't forget that little gas cap thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, one more round of applause for Dave and the Corvette. And uh, keep your eye on the TV show to uh, be able to see this one. And uh, be careful as you walk through the SEMA show. You don't want to trip over another Kindig car. There's another nine or so laying around, so be sure you check out all those.